Anyway, greetings everyone and welcome back to World Forge Legends with me, Kemzit, and uh, our lovely developers. Hello, hello. My name is Shara. I'm the lead developer on uh, World Forge Legends. I do the scripting and the ideas and all that. And with me is uh, Varianus, who is the texture and also uh, sort of dialogue assistant in stuff. Mm-hmm. And, uh... And Jet. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say in general, he helped me with everything. So, yeah. And, uh, today we're gonna play against 3 I do a little bit of a comp stomp over here, and... See how this game shall be faring, just a little bit of testing, uh... Pre-checkout uh, and all that. And we're gonna have some fun against uh, 3 AI on easy mode. Even though they have informed me they're not that easy, and that's what we're going to check out, so... <laughs> we do say easy, but they're easy on our dev standards. Exactly. So basically just on paper, but actions, that's a bit different, I guess. Construction complete. Uh, you can compare them like easy on the original game, uh, hard on the original game, stuff all like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, sort of like that. Uh, the AI sometimes has random stuff that it likes to do, so you you never know with it. Yeah. Well, I have already gained a few things, or well, I'm trying to. But I must also say that the pathfinding is a little bit more better than uh, in the... Um, Spot the wow, definitive that. edition, in my opinion. Uh, the p the pathfinding and how the units move is was a lot of work to do actually, and uh, I, there were like a couple of things that I I personally had to focus on in order to make it work properly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you will notice that when you mass attack, uh, if you right click on one unit, the the units your units gang up on one guy and just own him, <laughs> and you'll see that kind of thing happen. But like, I think it's way better than uh, units blocking each other hardcore and you're like losing your fights because of that. Yeah. Well, it is working and it's really fine and that's what matters. But I assume you guys will be trying to maybe, I mean, experiment it with it or lesser it. Construction complete. Well, don't know yet really. The the idea with formations and stuff, we had a Not idea with phalanx metal. actually to Not make a phalanx metal. formation, mm -hmm. and we might work on that. But okay. like, uh, we uh, like there are horses in this game, and they show that example of that limitation with blocking each other. Really, where mm -hmm. the horses, when they ran into a mass, they become super ineffective, and in, not in a manner where they. Uh, can't kill mass units. It's more like they don't even attack because they're getting blocked and we kind of want to avoid that issue as much as possible. Yeah. Oh, uh... You will see when there is big armies running around that it would not work another way. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It, the, the combat is much more better this way, believe it or not. Yeah, I can surely see that. I've already seen some villagers being attacked from the AI here in the middle. How do I single again? Damn it. Exactly. It's, uh, so the the yeah. neutrals the neutrals have been set so that you cannot take the uh, middle mines without without having to kill them. So it's like you have to kill them in order to get something for yourself. While these mines that we have right now is like who who goes first, who gets them first, gets them basically. Let's it's like more competitive that way because you have to like think how to start the game. Our camp is being attacked. Yeah. Oh, you brats. Been attacked already. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm getting attacked as well. I got some. So, uh, you will notice that the that the Golden Horde factions play way more different compared to like um, ancient factions. Mm -hmm. the, the upgrade system is a little bit different. I can see the Persian are basically screwing over the Golden Horde right now at the moment. Ah, oh, shit, I lost my gold mine though. Damn it. Little brat. I'll just try to make some. 
cavalry, I guess. Hold on, no, no, no. Construction complete. Okay, if you have time to look at at me fighting up up on with my boat with my range units. Yeah, I can. Okay, so you'll see like how the how the Ru Russians work. So basically, as you can see, my region is super fast on the Russians. That was kind of the the thing we went for. This is mm -hmm. the thing I was talking about. So like, Russians are like the ones where if you spam, uh, like low damage weapons, you won't be able to kill them. That was like sort of a hard counter to it. I see. And Russians can create uh, heavy so heavy units from the houses, from these houses that are built as storehouses. That's one unique attack. thing they have. Basically like a quick men at arms kind of guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they can, ones. exactly, oh, exactly. Brats. That's uh, quite unique. Are there, what are the differences as well from any others? Like, uh... Uh, you will see how Rus Russians build the, the houses and buildings is a, the original way how the whole golden horde works as you can see it mm -hmm. in, a, in the base so yeah basically you can build around uh, the uh, the town you can build five I t five buildings i believe not sure i think that's the max but yeah you can also build the circle walls Our as i'm going to demonstrate now there the range is way bigger now mm -hmm. but yeah you you see i'm building walls it's probably going to cause a desync but uh, it shouldn't because I'm the host, but we'll see. Like, I know walls cause these things for some reason. The programming was really bad on them, but basically, you can build these walls super fast. They're not the strongest walls, but. They Effective work. one, yeah. And one key feature that these walls have, and I think it's very cool, is I'm just gonna finish these walls and I'm gonna show you. Basically, you can just. If you, if you miss a gap in these walls and the like the the gold mine got like uh like cut off from the rest of the town you can t you can take your villager well i don't want to get attacked but you can take a villager and you can just continue the wall uh, as i'm gonna show you right now okay so you can just as you can see like you just you can just continue the wall there's an interesting future for them actually And yeah, they're really effective the for that. Exactly. Oh, damn. So you can defend quite well. So it's not like, oh, they're low HP. So that means if I have more damage, I can just destroy them. No, they have some other aspect that that, that doesn't make them useless. Basically. Mm -hmm. Coming up with this was a little bit of a challenge, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it was, I was thinking like, okay, they're gonna be useless in fights where people have like tons of damage so what do we do how about we make their capital defend better and this is the idea I came up with okay um... uh, the spells work just fine for the Golden Horde factions like the Russians have one of the most use useful spells uh, regarding unit spells and like uh, Weapon spells, mm -hmm. as, as the starting weapon can always stun. That works just fine as well. The stun percentage is quite low though, but like depends on the level. Like it, it gets higher on the level. Uh, and what about the um, how do you call it? The uh, what were the names? Damn it! I really forgot about their names. Uh, the not the. What about the Crusaders? How so the Crusaders uh, are relatively st tanky, mm -hmm. strong. Uh, basically, when you look at Crusaders, you're looking at something that can like destroy the enemy, like just absolutely destroy it without having to worry about anything. The Crusaders have tons of damage, but they they are really expensive resource wise mm -hmm. uh, especially gold wise if you don't have gold you ha we're gonna have a terrible time as crusaders but um, you can play them with a crossbow spam though I wouldn't really recommend it like you can get countered but like with crossbow spam you can try playing crusaders is gonna work not too bad um, what else is there about them yeah uh, crusaders relative uh, mainly uh, hero based action as well like you want to get uh, all the heroes out and you want them to level up 
their their auras give you make your units almost immortal basically like they give we changed the um um uh, hermit of salsa spell mm -hmm. or i think it's he's no actually it's it's a burger spell it's the reinforcement spell which basically went as the more units you have the less uh bonus damage you're gonna deal but you're still gonna deal bonus damage so we change that in, into the more units you have the more bonus damage you'll deal so if you can build a lot of units you can get a lot of damage if you level up that is so it's gonna basically make you in if you have tons of units it's gonna make you strong but the thing is uh late game it's not gonna be that like i thought it might be op but like late game you won't really feel the difference that much because like the starting point of that spell is super low, so you have to like it stacks by uh, one percent basically. The damage stacks by one percent per unit. So you have to, like if you want to feel like 50, I think maximum is forty five percent. So you have to have forty five units in order to stack forty five. And if they die, like you just lose those stacks. So I thought that's like some kind of little combo thing that you can do. And yeah. That's quite interesting and really, how should I say, powerful as well. I really want to test them out because I do have some, you know, um, Crusaders next to me as well, and they are, you know, stacking up quite a few strong troops. And here is a bamboo gun. I can see it. I'm just gonna check to it. Car warriors. Oh, Let's yeah, see. yeah, just take it. You'll you'll see that it's gonna die super fast though. Yeah, relatively it is. fast. Well, most of the units within side are getting a lot of damage too. I can take They're it over, not... maybe. Who knows? I've also upgraded the uh, barracks, attack. which is now spawning quite a strong some units as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. Getting attacked here. Uh, kill the hero. Always kill the hero first. Yeah, I'm killing Herman von Zolza, trying it. But my units are really bad, even though their weapons are good. Yeah. Well, Herman is a hero. We made the heroes a little bit stonk. Yeah. I made myself some heroes too. Xerxes. They act like commanders. Yeah, Xer Xerxes is uh, really powerful. Like Xerxes can be a one-man army, especially with his... Uh, I highly recommend going for the first spell, not the aura spell. The strategic spell is way better because it gives you a buff in general, while... <laughs> While the a, a, like the aura spell just gives you in an aura, so I see. It's way better. It's way better when it's global than when just aerial. All right. I'm gonna kill that Bella the fourth. Let's see how he shall fare. I've also made a uh, Mardonius. We'll see how he shall fare too. Construction complete. Mardonius is a light infantry killer, I believe. Okay. Well, Xerxes is more for a heavy, but like all around, basically. Um, yeah, upgrade. So, strategic skill: maximum amount of health of all friendly uh, warriors, vehicles, and animal increases. All friendly with the radius with the health. Have, okay. I'll so yeah, the, the first, first one, one is mm -hmm. like you will see that it instantly increases HP of all of your units, like no yeah. matter. The Car Warriors like had a thousand and I mean hundred and eighty five. Now they have two hundred and eighty five. So basically, they received like a hundred more. I'm Since not sure. Maybe maybe it's a level thing, but like you know, like they don't, shouldn't be they're getting that much HP. Like they should be getting a, a decent amount, but not too much. Ah, uh, I think it's just then eighty five or something. I don't know, but. Uh, also as you can see, like some some uh, units don't have a proper animation. That's like one thing that we have to fix. Animations mm -hmm. are really hard to like fix. Like it's a lot of work. They're not that hard as it. As it's a lot of work. It's okay. Um, that's one thing that's holding back uh, monster faction, basically. I did kill one of the units within the bamboo gun, but he's not stopping at the moment either. Um, Already many units within. And there was a unit stuck within. <laughs> hmm. Probably. I'll try to I'll try to see if it, maybe it could be a bug or something, but I'll I'll look I'll look into it, but honestly it should work just fine. I'll 
You should be able to, like, kill stuff, but... Could be a bug or something, we'll see. Possibly. These uh, flails are quite powerful too, damn it. Honestly, I, I highly recommend going for battle axe instead of battle axe instead of flails. Like, battle axe are more all around light infantry killers. Ah. Like, you basically oh. have to use the weapons as upgrades as well. Like, you need to upgrade your weapons because if the AI does, you're gonna be wrecked. Yeah, I'm starting to continue to increase my weaponry. I'm nearly level 3. So then I shall uh, spam more units as well, because I have already two barracks at level 3. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the, another one, so I can spam a lot, because I have a vast amount of resources. Though the Teutonic Knights are, have some strong hero too. And the, uh, I don't know what was his name. Uh, forgot about Search it. Complete. Oh, there he is. Uh, Walter. He's already level oh, 2. Yeah, he's yeah. Dangerous. So, Walter is the healer, basically. And that's why what I meant with all the heroes. So, basically, you have one that gives you damage, which is uh, the burger, the Sweden, the Sweden hero, uh, mm -hmm. the Swedish hero. Then there's Herman that gives you attack speed. And then there's uh, Walter that gives you uh, HP region. So, if you have all three of them combined, that. Um, have at least level two on all of those spells. You will see that they're quite quite a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I'm gonna retreat a little bit because these guys are literally killing. They have a lot of heroes here too. So that's like the hero combo that I was talking about. Like. Yeah, they're really strong. Holy damn! Can't even kill them. <laughs> yeah, no. I shall try this. I will be soon uh, sending some really strong units, so don't worry. Would be nice. I can't even get my units out. I'm just gonna stop with train troops for now and let him take the bait, whatever he wants. I'm coming to help, don't worry. I got some okay units, not the best one, but yeah. I've destroyed his position here and kept his uh, mining off. There we go. Yeah, just prioritize the heroes, that's all, like, when you see them. Yeah, I've yeah, tried to done it, but... I'm not quite sure what happened, like, as you can see, uh, Marianus is wrecking the, the towers and the... We're probably gonna buff buff the how much damage they take, though, on the catapult, but as you can see, they, they take them. I don't know how that happens. It's just everything is dead on arrival. What do you mean? Yeah. Like the, the three bamboo guns, they just already get dead when I arrived. I did not attack. Well, rip. It is what it is. Um, I've sent some help. Thanks. We're, we're like... I can't do anything in the moment though. Uh, hold on, I'll try to fix my land a bit. Even though I'm keeping them away from the middle over here and continuously getting resources from here our troops are under attack oh, wait now I'm getting attacked from them it's okay we got this look at this tanky battle our nobody hero can kill is under attack. <laughs> Search complete. quite overpowering oh, I'm killing some Nubians die bastards uh, oh yeah, hold on, I need to make a ritual hall, actually. Mm hmm you need that to, to uh, get the, uh... Stronger units. Yep. Oh, there, Mardonius. Okay, you guys got this. I don't need to go back. Nice. Good 
Bring it on! There we go. We'll clean that up. I'll make just some normal units again. Attack. I am building uh, two-handed axe, and you'll see how strong that is. I have already researched that too. Hold on, actually, I can make. Oh, you mean two-handed axes? I thought battle axes. Two-handed axe, yeah. Ah. Uh, that that's that's one thing I have that I, I have. Ah. You can see it in in my base, and you can see the damage on that thing. Yeah, nine ninety-one, and a hundred and eleven. Our troops are under attack! Our hero is under attack! Oh. That is like the go, go, super glass Damn. cannon because they are relatively low HP. Yeah, new just killed my hero. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I recommend you go for the Mar Mardonian Blade, which is like the last big sword on the, on the upgrade tech tree. That thing is really strong. And if you have immortals with that, you'll be killing the Teutons, no problem. And if you level up, you get life steal as well. Yes. Mm. That's one advantage of two-handed weapons, you get life steal. Yeah. Oh shit, the Egyptian. Oh, oh yeah, look at the Egyptians, look at the Egyptian. He's still on... Nah. Yeah, they're very powered actually. I'm lucky that they're still on starting units. True. Yeah, one attack at you. Where is my hero? Here. Pick him up. Research complete. Try to get some better men. What is the Bogatir. Feel the might of the Bogatir. Oh, so long you keep them away from gathering resources, it seems they are starting to slow down creating troops. And then with yeah, some yeah. bit of teamwork, you can do this easily. Yeah, yeah. But not against hard though. Against hard, there's no way you can. Exactly. Construction. That's that's a fact. <laughs> well, if you pull them a little bit down with the extra resources, you might be able to do this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, what I've done. I don't want to create any troops at the moment though, even though I'm trying to upgrade some better men to get some noble at least, maybe. No problem, I'm holding him at bay. Alright. I've got, I've got stunk heroes. <laughs> units. Yeah, well, we're winning anyway. Our friend uh, with the Romans have taken care of them. No, I'm just messing around. Go attack Egyptians, my friend. I dare you. Research complete. Yeah, um... Why Egyptians? I go for Mongolians. <laughs> Alright. So you said I should make uh, one-handed... Uh, how should I say? Uh, Axemans, right? Uh, so the the like early to mid game transition is basically from like go battle axe and then go uh, curve sword. That's like that transition that you want to go. Like you want to you want to rush battle axe uh, on Persians. That's like highly recommended. Okay. Because like you will see it it it's it's like a solid weapon. Like it's all around uh, that is pre pre dope. All right. I go kill Egyptians. Yeah, Modernus.
Oh, interesting. Okay, let's use the frying machine. Yeah, you can see the uh, damage on the battle axe. It also deals a little bit of medium damage, but like that, the ve vehicle damage is what's important. Yeah. Research complete. That's quite strengthening. I am wrecking Egyptians up here. Yeah, I can see that already. I've seen you kill the entire, well, not entirely, partially their armies. I'm just creating a mess army of uh, men with axes. Let's see how that will fare. You've already killed the Teutons actually already too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Crusaders. It's easy because it's easier. So they don't. They have only one barracks. The issue is when they have six barracks, uh, like on hard. Like that is annoying to kill. <laughs> they mean one barrack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One up to two, yeah. Because even turning down the resources didn't make them easy. Construction complete. Yeah, that's always the, the thing, like how to balance stuff so everyone has fun. Mm. True. Like new players. Like for new players, this actually. It's kind of heavy as a start because you don't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. I was That's how I was because I was trying to basically rush them with some troops, but they just really, like, literally just created a lot of troops as well and, how should I say, made a lot of stronger units than mine and he was rather quickly with it than instead of me and, you know, beating me up. Yeah. Even though I did have, like, a lot of resources at the ready and still do, but... I didn't have the time to uh, create a lot of troops to defend myself. And, uh, but I had help, so I was safe. But imagine if you were playing this alone with uh, yeah. someone against an AI itself, then you would have already struggled or bigly lost. You could have always retreated already and create some backward space. Well, as they were focusing on the, your forward base, then uh, they would have been able to do this, but further on they wouldn't stand a chance. Indeed. I'll destroy them alone. So Russians are very interesting when it comes to level up and stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically the way that the way I made um, Russians with uh, with the battle axe is I focused on what I want to do when they level up and stuff and so Basically, in order to get 200 life steal, by the way, you need to have level one. So you can't, you don't have life steal until you, when you're level zero. So you need to have level one to get the life steal. That's that's one one catch. Mm -hmm. But yeah, basically the Russians, on their battle axe, have life steal and have extra life steal uh, on kill. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're victorious. GG, easy. GG. All right, you guys want to try? You got? You guys want to try one v three against hard AI? Um. We could do that. We could certainly do that. Um, we have right, to restart just... this then. Yeah, yeah, we have to restart the game, okay. so we don't get get run into any errors. It, it's how the game works. Nothing I can change, unfortunately. That's all right. Um, well then, uh, we shall certainly try this. But this is also it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel. Be new, and we shall support it. Do you recommend something if we could get them together? It's possible as well. Just write the down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chit chat about it. And if you would like to try this game out or actually a mod, feel free to check out in the description below or uh, join the Discord server as well to check out, ask questions, offer feedback, and so on. But for now, we shall see you guys later.